one of the cities that was... Congressman John Garamendi shares his candid conversation with President Zelensky. He knows that he is at the top of the kill list. And he knows that his life is in jeopardy. But he's pushed that aside to lead his nation. An incredible man of courage and leadership. He says Russian forces are moving away from targeting the Ukrainian military and are now attacking communities. And he went into detail about uh, hospitals, kindergartens, schools, uh, apartment buildings, government buildings, uh, presumably with the uh, intent of breaking the will of the Ukrainian people. Can you believe this is even happening in this modern age? Uh, it's hard for anybody in this world to believe and to to believe what they see. President Zelensky asked for more help today. The Ukrainian people are determined, in his words, to be free, to not be subjects of Putin and Russia, but rather to be Ukrainians, uh, to uh, set their own course, to make their democracy viable. The war has led to higher gas prices. California drivers are paying more than $5 for a gallon of unleaded. Is the price gouging going on? by the oil companies? The answer is absolutely yes. Garamendi says he will investigate the big petroleum companies, but for now they can't lift the sanctions against Russia. And I think the American people are willing to accept the reality that this is not just about Ukraine. If Putin is successful, if the sanctions are to be forgotten, and Russia oil is allowed to flow freely around the world, and Putin's able to finance his government and finance his military, then we should be very, very aware that Putin has his eyes on more than Ukraine. There's a lot of anxiety with what's happening in Ukraine. Uh, where do we go from here? And is there an end in sight? I think there is. Uh, the sanctions... Uh, together with the extraordinary bravery of the Ukrainian people and the Ukrainian military, which should continue to receive American military support, financial support, uh, the sanctions are hurting Russia. Uh, the military offense that Putin planned is stalled. The congressman says the U.S. vowed to keep helping Ukrainian refugees. The United States most definitely has the back of the refugees that have left Ukraine and those that are continuing to uh, leave. The humanitarian effort is in full swing and we can all do our part by sending donations, big or small. In these kinds of situations, uh, it is usually not useful to send clothing or food. Generally, uh, in these kinds of crisis situations, it's best to send money to credible organizations that, then, that can then assemble the uh, necessary supplies. In Sacramento, Leticia Ordaz, KCRA 3 News. Garamendi says working class families will receive continued financial support from the federal government when the Build Back Better bill passes. He notes right now only Democrats are supporting it.